We know more about how the natural world works than ever before. It's kind of a perfect storm for nature-inspired innovation. During Hurricane Katrina, you would have thought that the live oaks on St. Charles Street would have died when actually only four out of over 700 trees died. Why is that? Well, the trees, it turns out, the whole thing is a blueprint for how to survive hurricanes. Their trunk is spiraled, so they flex in the wind, and their branches are spiraled, so they flex, and their leaves, when the wind hits them, they curl into the shape of a Fibonacci sequence, which allows the wind to flow through with minimum friction so that the leaves don't get torn off easily. And even more importantly, under the ground, its roots are actually entwined with the roots of the trees next to it. So when a hurricane hits a live oak in New Orleans, it's not hitting one tree, it's hitting a whole community. So perhaps in rebuilding New Orleans to be more hurricane resilient, instead of our individual peer foundations, we may think about foundations that have horizontal components that twine together with the foundations of the buildings next door so that you've got the wind hitting an entire community of buildings and not just one. Architects and engineers are beginning to explore this in other places. They're starting to think like a live oak tree to design buildings and homes that are safer and more resilient. For more episodes of Think Like a Tree, subscribe to the Wired channel.